The Auto Show, as you know, is all about cars, but it's also about vehicles, not just the ones that are on the roads, but the ones that take to the air. We're talking about an electric vehicle that flies. It can range up to 100 miles and stay in the air for an hour, totally electric, and it can fly in speeds as fast as 155 miles per hour. Check this out. We take off virtually. Oh, wow. <laughs> there you go. go ahead and oh my, okay. Keep pushing forward. All right. Up. Oh, 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 in the simulator, I'm flying through the air in a fully electric flying vehicle. Now I'm switching from hover to forward flight. The body of the Air One full scale prototype is tilting forward. The way it's explained to me, it's flying itself with my intent. You just pointed it in the direction you want to go, but it's actually flying. It's maintaining that uh, speed, it's maintaining your direction, it's maintaining your altitude. In July, Air completed its first hover test of the Air One. As you probably surmised from my virtual departure, this flying vehicle takes off and lands vertically. It's fully electric with eight motors. It's a vehicle that flies, not a plane or a helicopter. The company's CEO describes it this way. Uh, it doesn't go on the road. It go only in the sky, goes only in the sky. Uh, but the, the, the essence of the device is less, much less complicated than a regular airplane. The trick with our company is that we have a patent that allows us to have a very simplified vehicle that allows us to have lower level of certification rather than the other commercial players in the market. What's the price tag? Uh, we sell them for $150,000. Yeah, not so bad. Uh, we sold over 220 by now. Uh, people can pre-order it on the website. They have a flying prototype, but now have to build a production prototype, which will be exactly the same product delivered to customers. The flight testing stage critical here. Buyers need a basic pilot's license to operate it and a landing pad or patch at their destinations. We don't envision it uh, going into urban or highly populated areas. People don't like big things flying over their heads in low altitude. The cockpit, an open experience, more like a car where you can really see all all around you. Everything, yeah. This is supposed to be much easier than flying a plane or a helicopter, but I may need just a little bit more practice. You did it. Not really, Pretty but close. <laughs> so close, so close. I'll take it as a as a win. And they've had four years of development and testing. Right now, they are operational, they say, with a prototype in Israel, and they're working their way to the United States. Timelines can be a little difficult to predict when you're talking about something as interesting and different as this, but they've been working with the FAA and regulators to get this flying vehicle in the United States. At the Auto Show, I'm Hillary Golston, Fox 2 News.